Hey guys, so in the midst of David Dobrik's humongous controversy, it's left me with a lot of different thoughts and different perspectives on cancel culture because cancel culture is something that is a humongous part of our lives. People on TikTok every other day, the word canceled gets thrown around so much, but I've sort of noticed a pattern in how people get canceled and why people get more canceled than others, even though both di- two different creators can do the same thing, but why is one getting so much more hate while the other one can still make videos with his 16-year-old friend? Yes, James Charles, I am talking to you, you sick, you sick, sick human being. So let me give some background on what's happening with David Dobrik and just what I think. So David Dobrik, he has currently lost so many sponsors. He's lost SeatGeek, Bumble, and so, so, so many more. Chipotle even stepped down, like Chipotle. And he's lost thousands of followers. His career is tarnished forever. And I think that this is a great thing. I think that David getting everything taken away from him is what he deserves because what he did was a terrible, terrible thing to do. Yet, when I look at this other person, when I look at James Charles, basically, James Charles, he li- he admitted to this. He admitted to grooming a minor and he sent them explicit photos. And then he said, oh, but but the victim, he he said that his, he said that he lied to me about his age. So it's his, it's all his fault. It's all his fault. I need ID next time. Oh my God. Ha ha ha. Like it is such a mind boggle that James is getting no repercussions It's like his actions are always being swept under the rug. Like Chipotle is still collaborating with this man. He's still filming TikToks like nothing happened. He turned off some of his comments like that does like to just back off the haters. It's it's insane. And I've kind of sort of almost figured out why. I don't know if this is right, but I just am going to speak my mind because, you know, it's a lady talks a lot. But so... A pattern that we've seen in influencers getting canceled is when the weight of the is the weight of the cancellation. David Dobrik's weight is so much more mass than James's, and that's because David is was was a really likable guy. I would go as far as to say that David was one of the most beloved brand friendly creators on the platform, and. David could do no wrong and he was such a sweet boy and he was so amazing and then to see him do something so horrible when for so many years everyone he just blindsided us with this increasingly horrible allegations coming out and it sort of reminds me of another person who is get who got previously the same treatment as David Dobrik and that is Shane Dawson And the way David and Shane are getting canceled is almost parallel from the teary apology to losing everything. When Shane was at his peak, which was the conspiracy palette era, Shane was showered with love and the internet couldn't get enough of him. So when Shane's disgusting actions were brought to light, it was a huge shake on the internet because he was so beloved and his persona was dropped in a matter of seconds. Both Shane and David were unproblematic, which made the weight of their actions an even harder pill to swallow for the public, which is why all these brands are like, oh my God, what the heck? We worked with you and this is happening. Same thing with Shane losing almost everything. I mean, the conspiracy palette's on sale. Everything's on sale. Like, I'm sorry. But what bugs me so much is that James, on the other hand, he has had numerous amounts of scandals throughout his career let's be honest he the whole Tati drama every other day people are like oh you steal makeup brands oh you do all these things oh your TikToks are weird and so when James Charles does something so vile and disgusting it seems like the public doesn't care because you know they're in their head they're thinking oh that's just James Charles haha he's so funny he keeps getting played by young boys even though he's an adult in the situation no accountability for James poor James oh my god he didn't know he had no idea do you realize that to be a public figure on Snapchat you probably get so many snap requests in a day 
So James, how, explain this to me. How did you see this kid in your request and just pick him and oh, he happens to be 16? James, there's no way that you didn't scope this kid out because it's it's impossible to just pick a random person off of your phone. You You have 15 million followers on Instagram. It's very, very unlikely that you were just scrolling through and being like, oh, a cute boy. I hope he's 18. Obviously, you found him. So don't be trying to make that a thing. And there's a lot of other creators that kind of get away with this. And Tana Mojo, even though she has done like nothing close to these disgusting other actions of these other creators I've mentioned, but she does things multiple times. Like she's always out partying during a pandemic and which is very embarrassing, but because she's Tana and she's known for being problematic, she gets away with it because everyone's like, oh, silly Tana, oh my God, Tana, let her live her life. And people act the exact same way towards James Charles. And it sucks so much that no one cares about what James has done because he treats it like such a small scandal with a little Twitter apology. James, you are a literal predator. You are a predator. Someone needs to get you that spring chicken burrito like stat and making his audience also believe that he did nothing wrong when in fact this is this is a string of events James this is not the first time all throughout your career people have been saying how you're predatory towards minors and it's almost as if being controversial is better because no one will set an expectation that David or Shane had so the blow won't be like too much you know what I mean it is just so enraging to think about how James Charles gets nothing. How he literally... And also, let's think. He's also silencing this victim. Getting his videos removed. His things blocked. Like, And think about all the other people that haven't come forward. Clearly, James, you're pretty good at this. Seeing that you've only gotten caught so many times. And also, this is a fan. You don't talk to fans because there's already an uneven power dynamic. No matter what, you're the ad adult in the situation and you are in the wrong. Please, you know, go on a dating site. Don't go through your followers or go through your explore page and see some cute boy and just take his word. You can't just take his word. And you say, oh, I should have asked for an ID. F girl, like... Yes, you should have like and you've obviously are not going to continue what you say you're going to continue and yet you're out here filming TikToks with a 16 year old girl and her parents allow that like I, I honestly guys I cannot imagine can you imagine James Charles and Charlie D'Amelio no cameras imagine no cameras just the two of them just like hanging out in a room being like hey what's up Charlie? like what do you even talk about your age difference is insane like 20 what 21 22 and then like 16 she was 15 when they met so it's like a child like sophomore junior in high school hanging out with like a call like someone like in college or about to graduate college it is so mind-boggling and it really sucks to see that James basically has gotten away with this and it is so disgusting Guys, this is bit this is more of a rant. I was gonna make like a full like structure video, but I just kinda like it really bugs me. Oh my god. So yeah, let me know what you think. This is a this is a rant. I'm gonna title this a rant. So thank you guys for watching and yes, I don't know, subscribe and cancel James Charles, put him in prison. <laughs>